Hey guys, Mike Effect here with Yoga for Men, and today we're just going to cover a quick little lesson on how to keep your practice consistent and meditative in nature. You know, when we talk about yoga, there are a lot of things being thrown around out there uh, about what's yoga, what is not yoga. You know, and at Yoga for Men, at the very least, you know, we believe that a practice should be meditative in nature, right? That there should be something more than going on, that we should look to some clarity, maybe some more focus at the very least. Now, regardless of how you know an instructor might start their class, we get a lot of different cues throughout a practice if you're practicing in studios or even if you're using videos at home. You know, they might lead you in differently and you might get different cues throughout your practice. Now for me, regardless of who I'm practicing with, you know, my approach is always the same. And I use, you know, what's known as the Tristana method in Ashtanga Yoga regardless of my yoga practice. And what that is, is that's just incorporating three things uh, as you're moving you know, through your body and your yoga practice. And that is the breath. You know, we talk about pranayam. Uh, the, the breath that I particularly use in my practice is the ujjayi breath, if you're familiar with that. There's also the gaze, right? Your drishti, your point of focus, what you're looking at. If you close your eyes, that might mean shifting the gaze up to the third eye area. If your eyes are open as you're moving, it might be you know, a fixed spot on the floor or on the wall. And then the third piece in the Tristana method is the engagement of the bandhas. And for a lot of people just starting a yoga practice, that might be a little too much to throw at them right away. So I choose to work with engagement or physical engagement, you know, to feel what's going on in our bodies as we're moving throughout our practice. So there you go, guys. Three things to work with, the gaze, or the, excuse me, the breath, the gaze, and the uh, sensation <laughs> that you're feeling as you move throughout your body and your practice, okay? So namaste, we'll talk to you next time.